Welcome to Kiki Catalyst. Let's review how to create a report in the system. Keep in mind, any report you create will be stored under the agency library. To start a new report, you're going to select Add a new report within the dark gray toolbar. Once you are in the report builder, you have a workflow. You can navigate within the workflow by selecting the tabs. You can also use the arrows in the middle of the page or at the very bottom of the page you have previous and next button. The first tab in the workflow is report category. In order to create a report you will need to select from the report category and data sources. Report category is used to determine who this report is going to target. The data sources change based on the category that you are on and data sources will determine which columns will be available to create the report. Once you have selected the report category and data sources, you can then move forward to the report columns tab. You have the ability to use the search engine to look for certain columns by using keywords. For example, I am going to type a name into the search box and any columns pertaining to that keyword will populate. Once you have selected all the columns that you need, you have the ability to organize the columns within the box by simply selecting the column and dragging it over. If you need to remove all the columns selected, you're going to select Clear All listed right below the search engine. After you have selected all your columns, you're going to click Refine Report tab. In this section, you're going to be entering filters, so when this report is saved, the system will always run based on the filters that you've selected. As you can see, when I drop down on this column tab, it will display all the columns we've selected on the previous screen. If you don't see a certain column listed, you can always go back to the previous tab and select the columns that you would like to filter. Notice I've selected three filters for this report template. Effective date, policy status, policy business type. Out of the three, only two are checked to ask at runtime. Selecting Ask at Runtime on a report template will prompt you to select specific information anytime you run this report. If you add a value onto a filter, this will be your default filter when you run this report. However, you are able to change the value prior to running the report. So based on the filter selected, anytime I run this report, by default these effective dates will populate, but I can change the dates within the field prior to running the report since Ask at Runtime is selected. Next, the system will only populate active policies and I do not have the ability to change the filter prior to running the report because Ask at Runtime is not selected. And lastly, since there is an A value filter but Ask at Runtime is selected, anytime I run this report, this field will be blank but I can choose one item or multiple items when I'm getting ready to run this report. To organize your report, you can use Group Your Data or Sort Your Data sections and list your columns in ascending or descending order. If you have a column with a dollar amount and you would like to show the grand total on the report, you're going to select the column and the sum. The last tab in the report workflow is Report Preview. Within this section, you're going to name your report. Place a description if needed. Save the report in its proper subfolder. Select Landscape as your format and select the location or locations this report should apply to. The most important thing you want to do prior to exiting the workflow is saving the report. At the very bottom, you have two options, Save and Run and Save. If you select Save and Run, the system will save the report and populate the template for you to run the report. And selecting Save will simply save and store the report within the agency library. If you select Save and Run, your report template should populate. This is when your filters come to play. As I mentioned earlier, I had three filters selected. Two of them were Ask at Runtime. Those two are displayed within the screen. Since I selected Ask at Runtime, on these two filters, I am able to change the value prior to running the report. In order to run, edit, or delete a report you have created, you're going to left click on the report and a drop down should appear.